Hello, this is Liran Khabib and welcome to Video DNA. And today I'm gonna show you how to do a, a magical cube, I think. Maybe a disco ball or something. But anyway, it's a cube. And to do a cube in After Effects is pretty simple. Uh, but you need to use a, a specific technique uh, that I'm gonna show you. And it's actually pretty nice and, and pretty easy uh, because the cube is this one and the rest is just a few effects I'm gonna show you later so first of all I'm gonna create the face so I'm gonna open a new comp and I'm gonna call it face and I'm gonna open it uh, 400 by 400 and I want to make sure that the width and the height is the same uh, actually, it doesn't matter if it's 400 or 800 or 5. Uh, it's supposed to be proportional. So I'm going to open a new solid. And it's going to be white. It's going to be the background. And I'm going to open a new text layer. I'm going to call it Video DNA. And now I'm going to cut some holes but to cut some holes I wanna open a new solid so I'm gonna go to layer new solid and I'm gonna take a black solid and I'm gonna take the mask tool I'm gonna paint some holes that's nice and another hole and actually this can be any hole or any design or any anything and now I'm gonna open a new comp. That's it, we're done. And I'm gonna call this call cube. And this comp is gonna be whatever you need. And let's bring up the face. So, first of all, I wanna open this, I wanna make this uh, 3D layer. And I see a lot of people try to rotate and then move and then it doesn't get all that nice or maybe they're gonna go to the position and then they're gonna calculate a few numbers and then they're gonna get a cube a nice cube but it's not really intuitive so what I want to do is I'm gonna go to the anchor point I was pressing the A button and now I want to place it exactly as the uh, X and Y. So the, the Z axis is gonna be exactly like the rest. So now the anchor points doesn't sit on the layer but inside of an imaginary cube. Okay so now I'm gonna duplicate this five more times so I'm gonna have six faces and then I'm gonna select the one in front of me and I'm gonna rotate it on the y-axis with shift pressed so I'm gonna get a nice 90 degree rotation okay and now that's the last one I think I'm gonna open a camera and I'll rotate it to see everything is fine and now see these fine lines that are not really nice that's because of of the quality of the of the layers so if I'm gonna put it down it's gonna be even worse so a little trick I'm gonna go to the scale while all of the layers are selected and I'm gonna choose one of them and I'm gonna increase the X axis and the Y axis by 1% and that should fix it and now for the look okay uh, maybe I'm gonna put down the zoom. Okay, that's nice. So um, let's show the effects. I'm gonna go to layer, new adjustment layer, and then I'm gonna choose invert. And I'm gonna put it on the adjustment layer so I can get all the effects. actually all the all the things that below the adjustment layer to get the effect that's nice I'm gonna open another adjustment layer and I'm gonna pull out 
fast blur. And now I'm gonna blur it a bit, but I don't want it to be blurred, I just want it to be added. So now I'm I'm gonna get this nice glowy look and also the sharp look. So I'm gonna open another adjustment layer and now I'm gonna go to fast radial blur and I'm gonna take it up all the way to the end and this one should be in additive mode and to I think to control the color I'm gonna uh, take a hue saturation effect I'm gonna put it below the radial fast blur and now I can check the colorize and choose the color I want and the saturation and ooh, spooky and that's it I think this is it mm, nice that's gonna keep me amused for I think about a half hour well I hope you enjoyed it uh, this is Liran Tabib from Video DNA and see you next time